I saw the iMaker 3D printer listed for $99 on a Facebook ad and had to check it out, looked online, and figured for $99 this is definitely worth a shot to see what kind of printer they've manufactured where they can sell it for that kind of price. Uh, ordered it, it arrived last week sometime from the UK, interestingly enough. I thought they would have been shipping from the US for the shipping fee that was involved. So this is going to be an unboxing to see what you would receive if you ordered the iMaker. So inside, looks like you receive a little card from my mini factory. A checklist of all the parts that are supposed to be enclosed. Looks like it's well padded. It is well organized. They even include the screwdrivers necessary to assemble. The printer is made of acrylic. So I'm not sure how well that's going to print, but it's worth a shot. They even include a USB stick. All the cables, limit switches are on the top, wrenches, Clips. I'm assuming that's to keep the bed on top. The bed itself, if that's what this is, looks like the phenolic that's used in printed circuit in printed circuit boards. Under that are the steppers, the extruder. Interesting. On the extruder, Let's see if I can get that on the camera. Interesting looking extruder there. I'm not going to say what that looks like, but it is a Bowden. Uh, more of the plastic pieces. This is the part I was curious about what it was going to be. And it looks very similar to the Wanhow and the clones of that. Now this printer does not have a heated bed. Uh, it has a display. That seems to be pre-assembled on the acrylic board. This would be the Bowden. And then all the belts, nuts, bolts, bearing blocks that have, looks like the bearings are pre-installed. And it looks like it's a three bearing model. Now, honestly, when it arrived, I was looking at the size of the box. It weighs about 10 pounds, tiny little box thinking, oh, okay, maybe they shipped filament instead of a printer. But no, this is the printer. So this should be fun to assemble. Actually, for the assembly, I've been thinking I'm probably going to have my children do it, just to see if it's possible for them. Uh, one is 11, one is seven. And we'll see if it's doable. We'll do that on camera. Uh, there's no instructions. I would assume the instructions are on the USB stick. Actually, it's a adapter and it has a micro card in it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit board, the controller again. The controller uses a micro SD, has a USB. Nothing else unusual on it. This will definitely be an experience for the kids, putting this together. This is an interesting power supply though. Not the standard power supply I would expect to see for a 3D printer. It's a 5 amp, 12 volt standard barrel connector IEC cord power supply. Without a heated bed, 5 
amps should be enough to run the printer. This will be an experience and be worth seeing how well this prints. Honestly, I, I'm rooting for it, hoping that a $99 printer kit can pull off some decent prints. Unboxing. Yes, I realize I didn't actually unbox it. Um, I think everybody's seen steppers before. The guides. There are two of those. There are yet more plastic pieces that are all laser cut. Partially assembled partially assembled for the drive belts. Even smaller plastic pieces. Just peeling off the protective film is going to be annoying. But there's not much more for me to say. As I said, it was a simple unboxing for this video and plan on having the kids do the assembly. That will be recorded in a time lapse. Then the printer test will be done in a third video. So until next time.